tonight I watched uh, a Norwegian film. I don't think I've ever seen a Norwegian film before, so this was my first, I think. Um, it was directed by Edith Cal Karlmar and written by her husband, Otto Kalmar, from a novel by Neil Johan Rudd. Um, and it was, it was Liv Ullman's first uh, starring role. Uh, the film's called Ung Flucht. I don't speak Norwegian, so I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, the English translation, I believe, is The Wayward Girl. It's from 1959, and I uh, really quite loved it. It's about a girl named Gerd. She's a good teenager, and she's a bit of a, a wild child, if you will. And um, there's a boy who has fallen in love with her, and he's from a good family, and he is just trying to sort of get her out of the situation that she's in so she'll see that she doesn't need to be a wild girl like she is. Um, so he takes her to the country, but then, you know, because she, true to her form, she gets into some trouble. Um, what I thought was really interesting was they, they really had a lot with the parents discussing the sexuality of their teenagers, which I thought was really interesting. Um, at one point, there was, like, some nudity, and I was like, wait a minute. And then I remembered that I'm not watching a film from 1950s Hollywood. I'm watching a film from 1950s Europe, and there's that whole... Um, cliche in American cinema about, you know, watching foreign films for the nudity. So there you go. Uh, this, except there was no dicks. There's never dicks. You know, even, even the Norwegians, you know, can have a completely naked girl, but can't, you can show a butt. They showed a butt. That was nice. But like, that was it. Um, so the parents were played by, uh, Liv Ullman's character had a mother, her, played by Nana Stern, 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 no, Sten Nernsen, um, and she clearly had had the girl out of wedlock, and, um, at one point, Gerd is like, do you even know who my father is? And it was, like, really intense. Um, and they they fight a lot, which, but the kind of fighting that, you know, very much mother-daughter type fighting. And then uh, Anders, played by Atle Merton, his parents were played by Tora Foss and Randy, oh God, Brain. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. Um, and they were great. She, the mother was very like, oh my God, we need to put an end to this. And the father was like, eh, they're kids. Let them, let them have some time to themselves. Um... And then a stranger shows up, played by Rolf Soder, uh, who may or may not own the farm that they are staying in. And so the shenanigans happens, parents visit, parents leave, you know. Um, there's a lot of interesting discussion of female sexuality. At one point, she dances with herself, and she's just talking about how she just danced, and she never actually slept with anybody else. Um, or at least that's what I got from it. But everyone thinks that she slept with everybody else. Uh, then there's this part where she's picking daisies, you know. And when you're, like, a girl, you grow up picking daisies. And I, I don't know, maybe you guys do this too. But I remember picking flowers and then doing the he loves me, he loves me not thing. And that's, that's you know, you, you pick the flowers. And then if you get to the last one and it's he loves me, you're like, yay! And this one, she was picking the flowers and she was like, um, shit, what was it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to say it wrong because... You know, that would be not good. It was, um, wife, mistress, virgin, whore, which shows up in a lot of films that, that idea that a woman, especially around the mid-century when, when, um, things were changing, the, uh, what women could, felt like they could be were changing. But uh, for uh, the longest time, it was you were you were a virgin, and then you became a wife, and then you became a mother. And if you weren't one of those three things, you were a whore, and that was it. There was no other no other choice there. I feel like there was something else I watched earlier this year that that really discussed that mentality and how it fucks with women. Um, and I think even to, to, to in today's you know world, we still have that mentality sort of stuck in a lot of, uh, a lot of our legislation for sure. And a lot of just the mentality of how we treat women. And, and it's like, no, 
<laughs> there's so many more options. Um, the problem is because is women are defined by who in relation to other people. So who are they to someone else? And you're never defined just as yourself. And I think that's bullshit. And I think that it causes a lot of problem, both for problems, both for women and for society as a whole. Um, and so this, this girl guard is just trying to figure out which one of those things she is. And she's not a wife and she's not a mother and she's not a virgin, maybe. Uh, so she thinks she's a whore and that's all she's got. And it's like, no, girl, you have so much, so much more. The ending was a little disappointing. I'm going to say, I don't want to tell you what the ending was, but it was a little disappointing because it could have been a lot richer of a film. And I feel like maybe 10 years later, it could have been a richer film. But in 1959, it was as as, as forward thinking as it could get. Uh, Liv Ullman is amazing in this film. I, one, am stupid and didn't realize she was actually Norwegian because I've only seen her in a handful of Bergmans. So I thought she was Swedish this whole time. Um, she's so good in this. So beautiful so much depth to her her just her face and her whole body movement and just you know she's one of those actresses where her whole body is her instrument she really tells you everything you need to know without dialogue um but the dialogue is really funny i i don't know how accurate the english translations were um if you're norwegian you can go on my tumblr and look at the things and well you'd have to watch the movie I guess or be familiar with it but um I don't know how accurate they were but they, there were some moments that were really funny um I quite enjoyed this film uh so yes it was um uh Edith Karlmar's Ung Flucht from 1959 uh stars Liv Ullman and I think, hold on, let me double check. I, I don't want to say the wrong name. Ooh. Yeah, this was recommended to me by my friend Karen, who is Norwegian, and she was telling me about Norwegian cinema and how um, there's lots of women directors and there's always has been, and so... Um, she thought she thinks it's just interesting how the the gap in America is, and she recommended Edith uh, because she loves classic cinema and she knows I love classic cinema, and there we have it. So um, this was a great film, and I'm looking forward to seeing more from, if I can find more more of Edith Kalmar's films, Carl Mars films, because um, she's beautifully shot film, and it, and I love I love classic cinema, and I have not been able to watch too many films from this era because, you know, like once you've watched all of um, Ida Lupino and Dorothy Arzner, you're almost pretty much out of American classic cinema. So um, it's always good to find new ones from this era directed by women to watch. Um, so this was great. Uh, and yeah, Little Woman, so good.